Hey friends, it's Hannah at Lovely Little Lives. Today I'm going to be doing a collab video with a bunch of other mom YouTubers. We're all gonna be doing a tour of our kitchens in one form or another. So if you're interested, I hope you can check out the playlist below. That'll be linked with all the different collaboration videos. And I'm gonna be doing a little tour of my kitchen. I have a coffee themed kitchen, uh, which you can see behind me is one of the walls of my kitchen. And um, without further ado, here is the tour of my kitchen. So this is our little kitchen. It's pretty small. We have a small ranch style house and uh, the kitchen is actually one of the smaller spaces in our house. So um, there's not a ton of covered space or anything, but we make it work and um, it makes it kind of a little cozy area. I'm um, hoping eventually to redo the floor and possibly refinish the cabinets, but for now, this is what we've got. So for the fall, I have it decorated. I like to bring up my fall decorations. So over here, I have my little decorative corner. Um, there's little lights that are leaf, leaf lights. I think I got them from a garage sale. And then I have this lantern that I got from Amazon. I'll link that below. Um, I use it outside on our deck in the summer and then I bring it in and there's a candle inside of it and I can use it inside. Um, then our napkins, utensils, and our uh, dish towel, or um, what's it called? Paper towel holder. These all match, which I like the black, it's like a black scroll work on these. They're, um, I think I got them all from Bed Bath & Beyond but I'll try to link similar products in the description if you're interested in those. It just gives, you know, the house a nice, or the area a nice little look um, that I like. And then this sign is part of my coffee theme that's throughout the kitchen. It says, this home runs on love, laughter, and lots of strong coffee. Um, I think I got it online on an Etsy shop. I can't quite remember what the shop was called. I'll try to look that up. and add that in the in the comments in the description below and then for fall I also have this burlap runner along the edge I just twisted a couple pieces of burlap and intertwined that with the little lights so it kind of makes a nice fallish look um, over here's our stove and we have it's a wonderful life after coffee another coffee item for the coffee kitchen this was designed for me by my friend uh, she has a graphic design business called Cassandra Design. So if you're interested in that, I'll link that below. Um, she does custom work and she'd be happy to make you something like this or something else, whatever you envision. And uh, she's a, just a small one woman business um, and she does great work. So I'll link those things also in the description. Then over here is our fridge. We have our preschool stuff for the week. Every week we get new preschool things, so um, I just add those on. There's a little calendar that my preschooler is supposed to do the little activities for the month of September. And then up here we have our family pictures. This was one of the pictures that Cassandra Design took for us. And then we have our new baby um, ultrasound who's still in utero. She's due in December. So we have her little pictures up there, and then um, we had, for my daughter's first day of preschool, we had a little, I did a little, um, what is it called, first day printable that I created on Canva, and uh, had her list off her favorite things, so I saved that up there, and then um, our meal plan for the month of September, I created this meal plan last January, and it's on the blog. I will link that below as well. And that is a 12 month meal plan um, where you can print out each month and gives you some uh, area to do grocery lists on the bottom. And I'll link all of that in the description and you can go check that out if you wanna print it off for yourself. I'll be doing a new one for the month, the year of 2018. So be on the lookout for that on the blog as well at lovelylittlelives.com. Um, so that's our fridge and over here we have more coffee stuff on the wall. This I got I think from Amazon. I'll try to link that below but it's just like a peel off coffee decal that you just peel off and then stick on the wall and you can move it and put it somewhere else as well. Um, and if you hear noise that is my three-year-old who's here with me. And then this is our little 
kitchen counter, um, sort of a little island area. I have more fall stuff. This basket is a bunch of different pieces that we just put together. Uh, my daughter, who's five, actually, like she basically put it all together. I told her, here's, here's the fillers for the basket, and she like designed it this year. So I was really proud of her. She put it all together herself, and I just rearranged the pumpkins and added the little bow, and that was that. So that's just on our counter with more burlap to go with the burlap on the other side of the room. And um, I just have some little candles just to top off the look. And then I thought I'd show you this really quick. This is my recipe book that I've put together. Um, it's just a, a basic binder from Walmart with little plastic insert sheets. And then I just added construction paper, colored construction paper for fun. And then um, I just glue or tape on recipes to the construction paper and slip them inside the plastic. And then I have the little dividers also from Walmart that just divide each section of recipes. Um, I have breakfast and then dinner recipes and then sides, desserts, drinks, um, you know, just kind of a, just kind of the whole spectrum. And these are all recipes that I've either printed off online that I really like or they were originally on recipe cards that I wrote out back when I first got married. So instead of having a bunch of papers lying around, um, I thought it would be good to put it all together in one book. And I really like how this is laid out because it allows me to see all the recipes. It's really easy to read them. Um, I don't really like reading recipes on my phone because they just, it's like they're too small. And so, and plus my phone ends up getting dirty because I'll be like cooking and stuff will splatter on it. So. When I find a good recipe online, I print it off and put it in here, and then I just I organize it by type of recipe, and um, I just really like how how nice it is to have this all in one spot, and it allows me to have these recipe cards, which I wrote out you know back when I first got married, and allows me to keep those as well and keep them all together instead of having like a recipe box and then a binder. Um, if you're interested, tonight we are having this easy bake lasagna. It's really good and really easy and the kids love it. Um, I can link that recipe below as well. And then I also was going to show you my spice cupboard. This is my newest thing that I've organized. Um, it's still not as pretty as I would like it to be, but I got one of those little uh, risers, like the um, spice organizers. You can see it kind of in here. It's like a little white one. It was just from Amazon. It was really cheap. I can link that below. Um, just because I got sick of not being able to see all the spices and it was just kind of just felt like kind of a mess. So I got the little riser and then um, organized it by uh, type of spice. So on this side I have all like the spicy like actual spicy stuff like Cajun and curry powder paprika and chili powder and then on this side all in the middle I have like salt and onion powder garlic powders in the back um, and this side is more of the seasoning so I have like the lemon pepper for chicken I have basil leaves I have uh, parsley and on the back I have Italian seasoning and some other chicken seasoning and garlic powder and then this is my my coffee which is necessary too so I <laughs> have that in here because it it's right above my coffee pot and my toaster so it's all kind of right in the same area with the coffee filters above it but it also just keeps it out of the way so it's not on the counter um, this middle shelf I have all of my baking type spices because I couldn't fit all on one shelf so I have like cinnamon and allspice and those sort of things um, so anyway that's my spice cabinet it's my my newest organizational piece for the kitchen. Um, besides that, I have this over here is where I keep my bread and my bread basket. I have some flowers to add something pretty to the sink. And then of course I have more coffee themed wall decor. I have that one and I have one way up there. Um, and just as that finishing touch of the coffee look to the kitchen. So that's about it for my kitchen tour. If you have any questions, please ask me to ask me below and make sure you like and subscribe 
And also be sure to check out the playlist. There's gonna be a playlist link below with all the other videos. This is a collab video, so it's a bunch of moms doing tours of their kitchen, so be sure to check that out below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.